All right, so this is still Voice Factory Season 4. And yes, well, it is time, that time where people don't really like this part of the show. But, of course, Oye was out of the competition last week, and we're going to find out how it went down and how she felt. Kenny, I want you to hug two of them, one by one. Because the truth is, this is the last time you'll be seeing one of them. Which means that you take a step back, you Kenny Kings are safe. Congratulations. <sighs> I have two people in front of me, and one person will be going home tonight. Who will it be? If you're two, I guess you can also hug and uh, have your final parting words. So do hug each other. So who is going home tonight? You are watching the eviction show right here, Voice Factory season four. Idara, oh yeah. Idara, I'm sorry to say that. Ghana wants to see more of you, so congratulations to you. You are safe. Oh yeah. Unfortunately, this is the end of the road for you. Hello viewers. I'm actually very, very grateful that I'm the second to be evicted because I believe there's so much work out there for me to do and so leaving the competition it's just like a stepping stone to me going out there to flow to the ends of the world. And so I'm very excited I'm evicted. Alright, so what what I would have done differently if not being evicted was how to or in advancing my stage performance this is the one last thing I would have done given the opportunity my message to the remaining contestants is that you know with a beginning of every journey there is an end to that but then irrespective of you being evicted doesn't seize you from doing greater works and so all I want to tell them is that they are doing great works here but then I'm waiting for them out there to do greater works all right so that was oh yeah ladies and gentlemen and we're gonna be finding out who that one or two unlucky people may be tonight it is time, it is time. When you do hear your name, kindly step forward. Can I have AJ Sam? Step forward. Idara, step forward. Clegg Boyson, step forward. Breathe, come on. <laughs> you know what, I'll ask you to excuse us. You may leave the stage, excuse us. Lena, step forward. All right, can you join her? I'm gonna hand you the microphone. Just ask you one question. How are you feeling? Very nervous. Very nervous? Yeah. Okay. Are you, are you feeling the same? You're feeling the same. You're gonna go with the answer. 
okay. Let me have the microphone. <sighs> well, the truth of the matter is none of you are going home. You're safe. Congratulations to you. You may leave the stage. Three people remain. Can you please step forward? Debbie, Kenny Kings, and Charisma. Different questions for you guys. How do you think you fared last week when you performed? Good. You think you did great? Yes, I think so. I did great. So you feel good about tonight? Yeah, I feel good about tonight. Awesome. Give it to the man. Nice outfit, man. Thank you. How do you think you did? Okay. You think you did it okay? I did You're not even giving me okay like <laughs> <laughs> every time we meet. I Give it to Debbie. How do you think you did last week? I did great. I did well, very well. You did very well. <laughs> Oof. So yes, somebody will be going home tonight. But who will it be? Let's see who does that right after this commercial break. All right, so welcome back. If you just tune in, this is Voice Factory Season 4, and I am Osei Kwame. And uh, before the break, we mentioned that one person, or two people, maybe, going home tonight. So we're going to find out who that may be, or who those may be. Uh, Debbie, step forward, please. Hmm. Oh, I like that. I like that. Okay. Turns out that you are safe. Congratulations to you. So who's going home tonight? I have two gentlemen with me on stage. Charisma, what's funny? You don't know. Well, it turns out that you are also safe. So congratulations to you. Now, can I have Click Boysen and Idara back on stage? So you three are our bottom three for this week. So the dynamics have changed. How do you feel to be back? Uh, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna find out soon. I'm gonna find out soon, don't worry. So Kenny Kings, last week he performed, or Chami Kwame said that you started great, but he felt a disconnection at a point. Eddie Nam said that in terms of ministering the song, you did well, but she also felt the disconnect. And Richie said that you sounded pitchy for the first half of the song. And aside being a great vocalist, he did not enjoy. So let's see how you felt after your performance. I think what I think of the judges' comments, I think they gave me more things to work on. Like um, Richie explained, like still starting a song, I shouldn't get to kneel down because it's more better at the ending. But he liked how I did it in the beginning, but it actually gets to allow you to be PG. But other than that, he's a fan of Kenny Kings. But just tonight, I guess because they, they didn't know the song, so that was actually the only thing disconnect. There was a disconnect because they didn't know the song. <laughs> So that was Kenny Kings, and uh, I'll go to the lady Idara. Last week after your performance, Eddie Nam said you sang beautifully. Ochami Kwame said he had so much fun listening to you, which is good. And Richie said that you blew his mind away with your excellent performance, which is also good. Let's see how you reacted after. My performance was good. <laughs> I enjoyed myself and the judges um, liked my performance. So I think I did great. No, I think I did great. <laughs> Thank you. 
So that was Idara and the man Click Boyson. You're next uh, after your performance last week. Edinam said she wants to hear the lyrics to the song properly and also try to keep it simple. Aside that, you have a great voice. Ochabi Kwame said he did not really enjoy the beginning, but you managed to end it well. And then Richie said, you have a good voice, but you should try as much as possible to be yourself. Let's see how he felt after the performance. <laughs> Day, I think my performance was great. An exception that I had some constructive um, comments coming from the judges, which is going to actually help me improve because um, when those comments come, it actually means you're doing something right and you're doing something wrong. So it helps you get to know what you're doing right and what you're uh, doing wrong. So basically, that is it. It was great. It was great. I had fun. Yeah. So I think next week, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it my own and then that's it. Yeah. <laughs> So that was Clegg Boyson. Well, gentlemen and lady, can you step forward a bit for me, please? So who is going home tonight? Who will be the third person to be evicted on Voice Factory season four? Idara. Kindly take a step back for me. Go back a bit, yes. I would say, smile, come on, smile. <laughs> Congratulations to you, you are safe for this week. Amen. <laughs> you may exit. And so we have two gentlemen right here. And one person will be going home. You know the ritual, this is the point where I ask you to either handshake or hug your gentleman so you can have an agreement. Because one person is leaving tonight. So, handshake, gentlemen. The third person to exit the competition. Is I'm sorry, man. This is the end of the road for you. And uh, I wish you well. It's been an awesome, awesome journey. And we will take a look at this journey so far. All right, so apologies for not being able to show you the journey of Kenny Kings thus far. But yes, tonight he exits the competition. Now, I'm going to ask Edinam. I, I think what well, people, people must pick up their, people must vote. I didn't expect Kenny to be leaving uh, the competition tonight. Um, yeah, and even Idara, I wasn't expecting Idara to be in the uh, bottom three again, but um, I don't know what the other two judges think, but I'd like to use the power of the immunity mic to save Kenny. Did we just have an exercise of the immunity mic, Edina? Yes, I'd like to do that. I agree what do you with think? That. Yeah. Hold this for me. How do you feel? I feel super grateful. Don't break down. I, uh, thank you. 
so much. I feel I feel uh, I'm out of words. Calm down. <laughs> Come and take it. Come. You deserve it. Oh, there you go. Right. Are you gonna say are you gonna say a few words? Would you like to? Yes. <laughs> oh my god, I would say like I'm super grateful and I'll make it worth this sacrifice. We Thank believe you. in you. Thank you. Yeah. Alright. Congratulations to you. You may exit the stage. Thank you very much. So yes, that was the man, Kenny Kings, who has been saved by the immunity mic exercised by Eddie Nam. Remember to vote your favorite to stay in the competition, it is star 447 star 973 hash. Star 447 star 973 hash. Vote for your favorite contestant. And uh, before we hand over to AJ to come and lead us through the performances, let's take a look at the results last week. AJ Sam had 17.01%. Lena came in second with 14.31%. Next is Araba with 13.22%. And then Debbie came in next with 12.5%. Charisma with 12.04%. Idara with 11.76%. And of course, Fleck Boyson with 11.62%. And last but not least is the man Kenny Kings with 7.53%. So there you have it, the results. There you have it, the results for you this week. So if you have a favorite in a competition, make sure you are voting. Vote all the time, vote some more and vote some more. Make sure you keep them in a competition. So yes. Stay tuned, the performances are going to start very soon. I'm going to hand over to AJ and they are going to bring you a spectacular performance edition again right here on Voice Factory Season 4, right after this.